Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the PE Exam. Today's episode is especially important for those who are gearing up to take the PE exam soon. We're going to walk through a last minute checklist to ensure that you're completely prepared for exam day. This Pass the PE Exam video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the PE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem-solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for PE exam prep. Let's dive in. Number one, essential documents. First up, let's talk about the non-negotiables, your documents. You absolutely need to have your NCWES examinee letter. Make sure it's printed out and that your examinee ID number is correct. Equally important is your photo ID. Remember, it has to be a government issue, like a driver's license or a passport. Student IDs won't make the cut here. Number two, calculator and writing tools. Moving on to the tools of the trade, your calculator and writing instruments. It's vital to have an NCWES approved calculator, whether it's from Hewlett Packard, Casio, or Texas Instruments. Make sure it's a model that's allowed. We have another video focusing on just that, the allowed calculators. And don't forget to pack a spare battery. Now, for writing, a couple of sharpened mechanical pencils should be in your toolbox. Choose ones with 0.7 millimeter lead for the best writing clarity. Number three, personal comfort items. Let's talk about some personal items. While there are strict rules about what you can bring, there are a few things you're allowed to bring for your comfort and convenience. This includes your eyeglasses, but leave the case at home. You can also bring a sweater or jacket. And yes, even earplugs are permitted. These small comforts can make a big difference in your exam experience. Number four, some optional but helpful items. Now, onto some optional but very helpful items. A highlighter can be a lifesaver for making important information quickly. A clear plastic ruler can come in handy for diagrams and figures. And if you have a formula booklet or specific reference books that are permitted, definitely bring them along. However, for the CBT exams, most of what you need is on the computer. Number five, day before preparation. As for the day before the exam, it's all about planning and organization. Check your route to the exam center and plan your travel with extra time for any unexpected delays. Pack your bag with snacks, water, and all of your exam essentials that we just went through. And of course, double check the exam date and time to avoid any last minute panic. It happens. And that's it, your critical item checklist for passing the PE exam. With these tips, you'll walk into that exam room feeling prepared and confident. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will solve some more PE exam practice problems and answer other questions from our subscribers. Pass the PE exam videos will be published weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss something that could make a substantial difference in your exam result and ultimately your engineering career. And please ask questions and leave comments below this video and I will respond to you. Let me know if there's a specific topic that you want me to cover or maybe a question that you really need answered. Pass the PE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the PE exam.